Yeah, I want to tell you, I want to give you a secret behind having health kids, uh, even health mothers. I think you can see. Uh, the way you can see an animal that is healthy, it's always having a very good uh, uh, body score. He has a very healthy uh, um, a body, even the eyes. I want you guys to be looking at the eyes of animals. It's one of the things that you can determine whether this animal is healthy or unhealthy. Unfortunately, I have no anim uh, sick animal that I would uh, really show you. I think you can see the guys are all healthy. Mostly even these kids because most of you people are starving to have um, uh, having animals that are really not not healthy and not good uh, that's a kalahari as well i think you can see it's a good one but actually i want to explain to you uh how i do uh, my things to make sure that i have healthy animals like the way you see that that is what i'm going to explain to you yeah how do i do to make sure that i have healthy kids how do i do to make sure that i have healthy animals my things are too brief they are very brief and precise that's what I can assure you. That's what I can tell you. The fact is, these are the best things that I always do to make sure that my animals really look healthy. My animals live on um, free range, uh, but for your example, if you uh, if you're feeding if you're feeding your animals on zero grazing, it is the best. But the fact is, mine are on free range. But how do I manage those goats to really look very healthy, like the way you see? Um, I'm not just bragging, but I want to show you. And you see how healthy goats looks like. I think you can see. The cameraman can even show you this. Those are all very healthy animals. You get it? This, this is around four months, but it seems that even wants to come on heat because I can see how dirty it is. Uh, that's how you can determine an animal that has been bred. But actually, um, I need to explain to you the way I do my farm to make sure that my farm still looks healthy. Where I am, it's a flock of boas. That's why you only see brown head and white bodies. Uh, this is what I do basically. My animals in my uh, in my land, I always don't uh, actually. I don't have these um, folders, the the high folders like the way you see Kalyandra. I don't have the Akashi albida, uh, the Akashi umbrella trees. I don't have all those. Why? Because by the time I bought this land, this land was owned by guys who are doing. Um, uh, they call it what? Uh, uh, do maize planting. So when you're doing maize planting, you cut all grasses. So they used to cut all trees, all shrubs, and the land stayed bare. What does that mean? That means that my animals are not going to be browsers. They are going to be um, the, the grazers. And that affects animals a lot. A lot. Actually, that's the reason why in western Uganda, they no longer have heavy goats. Their goats are always just basic. They, they only have basic um, uh, weight because they only feed on ground. And most of them, they lose those goats, a lot of mortalities. Reason being, they don't have shrubs. If they had shrubs, animals will look very, very better. Like the way you see in Nakasongola, the way you see in uh, Kayunga, in some parts, the way you see in uh, Sembabule, Mubende, those guys still have sh some shrubs. So that's why the animals are looking healthy, they're looking heavy, and they're not cathetic. So the, the reason behind my animals looking like this, when they are feeding on ground, they're doing grazing, is because I deworm them. Instead of deworming those animals every after three months, I always deworm them every after two months. These kids of mine, you people, I'm telling you the fact. These kids, every after two weeks, I deworm them. And I use soft dewormers like liver first diamond. I want you guys to quote me very, very well. And in um, I skip a week. After deworming them like this week, I skip one week. That week, I get three days. And I give them multivitamin already. Like three days. Then the next week after that, I deworm them. So that means I deworm them every after two weeks. That keeps my animals very healthy. It keeps my animals really looking very nice. Even the old stock itself, I always deworm them every after uh, uh, two months. I vaccinate my animals. If an animal is born, like this is three weeks, when it makes a month, I'm going to, to vaccinate these animals. I begin the vaccination. I don't wait for an outbreak of a disease. 
then I think about of vaccination. So at one month, I start the vaccination. Unless if I have an epidemic, like you see in my neighborhood, let's say there is PPR or there is pox, there I can even vaccinate that of one week. You get it? So that's how I do. I spray every week. I spray kids alone and I spray even the old animals alone. That is the secret behind my animals really looking very, very healthy. So I think you guys, I would like you to understand this and I would like you to know this. So basically, that is what I do to make sure that my animals are really very healthy. Um, you guys, I'm not just bragging, but I'm telling you the truth. I want you to see my animals so closely and you prove to me whether those animals are healthy or not healthy. But what I do, I always do very simple, simple stuff. I'm not doing a lot. That's what I've told you. What I've told you is what I'm doing. And actually, my, for your information, me, I do all this because I really want you to be all farmers. Because I feel very bad to see a farmer starving with an animal after investing a lot of his money and animals are really dying, animals are becoming cacetic, animals are becoming emaciated. But if you follow and do what I do, basically, you guys, you can succeed very, very well. So I think the animals are really looking healthy and you're also very happy. Even the kids are really looking very good. Bye.